Top 10 Facts About Yellowstone Supervolcano Today we're going to review, our list of top 10 Yellowstone facts. Be sure to stay tuned for the bonus fact. Let's get started. Number 10, The Ground is Uplifting The ground in Yellowstone has been uplifting for years. Scientists measured over 2 feet of uplift between 1923 and 1985. This followed with a short period of subsidence until the 1990s. An additional 5-inch uplift was noted between 1997 and 2003. Currently in 2019, a 2-centimeter uplift was documented for 2018. The image you are looking at, captures the change in elevation between June of 2015 and July of 2017. The bull's eye shaped uplift represents about a 3 inch lift. Number 9, it's larger than we thought. A giant reservoir of magma and hot rock beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano has been found and imaged. The newly found reservoir lies 12 to 28 miles below the surface, and is four and a half times larger than the shallower, hot melted rock zone that powers current Yellowstone geysers, and caused the caldera's last eruption some 70,000 years ago. The volume of the newly imaged, deeper reservoir is a whopping 11,000 cubic miles, or 46,000 cubic kilometers, which is about the volume of Long Island with 9 miles of hot rock piled on it, or 300 Lake Tahoes. The discovery begins to fill in a grey area about how Yellowstone connects to a far deeper plume of heat rising up from the Earth's mantle. Number 8, also known as Yellowstone Caldera. Experts refer to Yellowstone as a caldera or, a caldera forming volcano. Some volcanoes form conical mountains. A caldera is a volcano that creates a vast crater. These are mountain swallowing events. Visitors to Yellowstone are given a map showing the outline of the most recent caldera, and if they go to the right vantage point, it's possible to see that the heart of the park is remarkably free of mountains. They were either blown away or fell into the big hole. Number 7, Yellowstone has Volcanic Explosivity Index of 8. The Volcanic Explosivity Index or VEI was developed in 1982. It is a relative scale that enables explosive volcanic eruptions to be compared with one another. It is very valuable because it can be used for both recent eruptions that scientists have witnessed, and historic eruptions that happened thousands to millions of years ago. The primary eruption characteristic used to determine the volcanic explosivity index, is the volume of pyroclastic material ejected by the volcano. Pyroclastic material includes volcanic ash, tephra, pyroclastic flows, and other types of ejecta. The height of the eruption column and the duration of the eruption are also considered in assigning a VEI level to an eruption. Number 6, Yellowstone is not the only supervolcano on Earth. While Yellowstone doesn't look like it will blow anytime soon, it's only one of several supervolcanoes dotting the planet. This list includes, the Long Valley Caldera in California, the Toba in Indonesia, and Adana Ignam Bright of Chile. One supervolcano to keep an eye on is the Campi Fulgri near Naples, Italy, which has been stirring since the 1960s. Some researchers believe that an eruption there 39,000 years ago led to a prolonged cold snap that finally did in the Neanderthals. But scientists say it's hard to know yet whether Fulgri is really waking up, or just snoring. Number 5, Not Every Eruption is a Super Eruption According to the National Park Service, a supervolcano eruption is defined as one that produces 240 cubic miles of magma. Two of Yellowstone's last three major eruptions fit that criteria. Since that last Big Bang, the volcano has had a series of 23 eruptions, the Park Service reports that an eruption occurred 174,000 years ago, creating the west thumb of Yellowstone Lake, and the last lava flow happened 70,000 years ago. That is to say, it's not a civilization-ending catastrophe every time the volcano erupts. Most eruptions at Yellowstone are lava flows, they discharge a similar or comparable amount of magma without a super eruption, since 630,000 years ago there have been many, such eruptions. 
These eruptive products also have short diffusion profiles similar to the ones from the explosive 630,000 year old event in their crystals, but they erupted quietly. Number 4, Yellowstone eruption will cover the United States in ash. Researchers at the U.S. Geological Survey used a hypothetical Yellowstone super eruption as a case study to run their new model that calculates ash distribution for eruptions of all sizes. The model, ASH 3D, incorporates data on historical wind patterns to calculate the thickness of ash fall for a super eruption like the one that occurred at Yellowstone 630,000 years ago. The new study provides the first quantitative estimates of the thickness and distribution of ash in cities around the U.S., if the Yellowstone volcanic system were to experience this type of huge, yet unlikely, eruption. Cities close to the modeled Yellowstone super eruption could be covered by more than a meter, a few feet, of ash. There would be centimeters, a few inches, of ash in the Midwest while cities on both coasts would see millimeters or a fraction of an inch of accumulation, according to the study that was published in Geochemistry, Geophysics, Geosystems, a journal of the American Geophysical Union. Number 3, it has more than 10,000 hydrothermal features. These include geysers, hot springs, mud pots and fumaroles. Yellowstone has more than 500 active geysers, and 290 waterfalls. Number 2, there's a plan to diffuse the volcano sort of. Some researchers believe supervolcanoes are a bigger threat to humanity than an asteroid or comet strikes. To that end, a group of NASA scientists came up with a theoretical solution for calming down a supervolcano on the verge of eruption. The idea is to pull heat building up in the volcano's magma chamber by pumping water down a shaft at high pressure. That water would return to the surface at roughly 662 degrees Fahrenheit, cooling the volcano enough to stop an eruption and producing lots of geothermal energy as a benefit. Scientists don't currently have the ability to drill deep enough to reach the magma and move the amount of water needed, about the volume of the Great Lakes through the system to make any meaningful difference. Bonus Fact, Yellowstone Eruption Warnings Have Gone Viral with the use and rise of alternative media, along with various platforms, the fears and exaggerated headlines are growing daily. Just try searching on YouTube, you'd be surprised at the number of videos. Number 1, Scientists do not know when it will erupt. Will Yellowstone's volcano erupt again? Probably. In the next few hundred years. The most likely activity would be lava flows, such as those that occurred after the last major eruption. A lava flow would ooze slowly over months and years, allowing plenty of time for park managers to evaluate the situation and protect people. No scientific evidence indicates such a lava flow will occur soon. To monitor volcanic and seismic activity in the Yellowstone area, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, was established in 2001. YVO scientists monitor Yellowstone Volcano with a real-time and near-real-time monitoring network of 26 seismic stations, 16 GPS receivers, and 11 stream gauging stations. Scientists also collect information on temperature, chemistry, and gas concentrations at selected hydrothermal features along with chloride concentrations in major rivers. This concludes our list of top 10 Yellowstone facts, what would you add to the list? Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like, and share.